Hello everyone, this is Swati from themeum.com. Welcome back to our channel. In my this video, I am going to create a multi-vendor website using our theme TA Shop Mania. TA Shop Mania is a pure builder-based shopping theme which is used to design any kind of e-commerce website. You can use Elementor, Brizzy, Guttenberg, PageLayer for designing your website. In Pro, you will get many advanced features. I am going to create my multi-vendor website using TA Shop Mania Pro. You can import the whole demo templates in just one click. It is fully compatible with WooCommerce plugins and integrated with our plugins like WooCart, Advanced Search, Compare, Lead Form Builder, etc. In Pro version, you will get sticky header effects, fixed footer, off canvas sidebar, product kit view, typography, and color manager. You can buy our premium add on in $1.59. Now, I am going with my members area. I am downloading my Pro plugin zip file and TA Shop Mania theme file. Now I am navigating to my dashboard. Adding my theme zip file here. Installing. Activating. My theme has been successfully activated in my dashboard. Now I am going with the plug plugins where I will upload my TA Shop Mania Pro add on. Pro add-on will add more advanced features and function functionalities in TA Shop Mania theme. Now I am going with the TA Shop Mania option panel. With the starter templates. I will use a starter template for creating my website. Going with the import demo. This is my starter template which I am going to use multi winter mania. Let me show you the template first. This is my multi winter template. Okay. These are the required plugins which are needed in creating a website so I am installing all my plugins here this template is designed using WooCommerce, Elementor and WCFM Marketplace Multivendor plugin let me show you the shop page of this template this is the shop page you can display your products here you can display all your categories on the header like this Now you can import this site, click on this button, same as I am doing. This is a very simple and easy way to creating any type of website. Just import the whole demo data and replace it by your own content. It will take a little bit time while 
importing all the pages media visits in your dashboard import is done now let me show you the website see this is my website now i am going with my dashboard for customizing my content first i will add post pages products visits and menu in my website going with the post add new adding my post title post description choosing my post category adding post tags uploading the featured image for my post setting right side bar in my post page publishing in this way you can also add post in your website now i am navigating to pages we have created multi vendor template home page using elementor so i am editing my home page using elementor this is my elementor page now i am going to customize it you can use layouts columns rows for displaying your content you can see all the changes in the real time editor upload banner images with their heading and sub heading you can also display the categories we have given element to add on with our theme you can use these element to add on to display your products simple post sliders etc let me show you how you can customize them this is my product slider add on just drag and drop that add on in your page select the category like this you can do the slider settings you can style your product box like this same as this you can also use other element to add on from here how you can add it and add element or dons in your website just check out our documentation link i have i have added the link in my description updating my website again i am navigating to my pages 
to create cart page my account page and checkout page just add the short code of that page in your editor i have added the link of the documentation which will be helpful for you in customizing your book page okay now i am going with the book commerce settings where i will set up my book pages here you can select the shipping location and selling location going with the product tag selecting my shop page saving the changes and advanced tab as you can see i am setting up the cart page checkout page and my account page saving all my changes now i am going with the product these are my products i am editing one of my product to show you how you can add and customize your product you can add the product title product description product regular price and sale price product short description add a new category from here product tag selecting uh, dynamic side bar as left product image you can also add your categories from here these are my product categories now i am going with my menu i am creating my website menu selecting the pages which i want to display on my menu i am setting up display location is as main and sticky in our pro version you will also get sticky header now i am going with the visit from here you can select visits for your primary site bar above header visit footer visit woocommerce shop page site bar add visits in your single product page i am adding uh, visits in my woocommerce shop page site bar area by just dragging and dropping the visits like this okay now i am going with my customized panel to customize my website in customize panel we have given these options going with the first option which is typography in 
typography you can select the base typography of your website the font weight font size this will run for all over your content this will run on all over your content in title typography it will change the font family font weight and text transformation for your titles you can see all the changes in the live customizer from content you can choose the typography for your headings from h1 to h6 now i am going with my layout first option is header in header you will get the options for above header main header below header transparent header and above header you can choose the padding top padding and bottom padding like this you can disable the top padding and bottom padding from your mobile view now i am going with my main header Header, you will get the layout. You can choose any desired layout to display your header content, like this. See all the changes in the live customizer, which I am doing. You can also enable the off canvas sidebar. This is the off canvas sidebar. You can add widget in your off canvas sidebar. You can choose the border radius for your category box. You can also exclude the categories which you don't want to show in your category box. First just checking the box now i am going with the below header settings and below header you can add the top padding and bottom padding like this transparent header just uh, check this box and your header will be transparent like this another is another option is for disable transparent header for inner pages after setting up the header i am going with the sidebar you can stick your sidebar your pages by enabling the sticky header in footer you will get above footer widget footer below footer and fixed footer and above footer you can select these layouts to display your above footer like this you can add different elements in your column So adjust the bottom border and height and pick color for your border color. In widgets, you will get in widget footer you will get these layouts. You can add the top padding, bottom padding in your widget footer area. Same as above footer. In below footer, you will also get these layouts. You can add these elements in your 
layout column and adjust the height and top border like this below footer is basically used for showing the copyright text in your footer area using fixed footer you can fix to your footer in your website when you scroll your website it will goes with it this is the option for move to top button you can enable move to top button in your website also select the background color and icon color like this now i am going with my site identity here you can upload the site logo add the site title tagline as you can see i have uploaded a, a site logo for my website from total color and background option you can change the overall color of your website from global color you can choose the theme color link color link over color and so on from header color option you can choose the color for your header element from footer color option you can choose the colors for your footer element from woocommerce you can choose the colors for your product single product checkout page cart page and account page elements this is the option for your social icon from here you can display your social icon in your website by just adding the social icon url as you can see i have added the social icon in your my above footer from preloader you can enable or disable the loader from your website also display a preloader image and choose the background color from woocommerce from product style you can choose the product image over style this will work on your shop page from single product you can display upsell product related product and also align your product content to know how you can add the upsell product and related product in your single product page just navigate to our documentation link i have added in my description this is the setting for your shop page here you can select the shop page pagination also add the load more text we have also given some product layouts you can choose these product layouts and display your products in your shop page like this i am choosing layout 3 you can see all the changes in the live customizer now i am going with the visits in visits you can add visit in your above header which will display here visits in your footer area we have given four different footer areas it depends on the layout which you have you you have chosen which you have chosen you can also add visits in your off canvas sidebar by just choosing visits from the visit panel After doing the customizer setting, now I am navigating to my dashboard to 
to show you how you can set up your vendor store. As I said, I am using WCFM vendor plugin for setting up my multi vendor store. This is the panel from where you can do all the settings. From settings, you can set all the required things which are needed in your multi vendor store. You can check the documentation link of WCFM plugin to know how this plugin works. I have added the link in my description. From here, you can add the store vendor list. Just add a new store vendor. Add your store name here. Slurp. Email. you can add store vendors in your website just like I have added I hope this video tutorial will help you in designing a multi vendor store website for more video tutorials like this please press the bell icon and subscribe to my channel thank you